All right, looks like running the most up-to-date version, which is now 2018.10.5. So let's take a look and see what we've got here. So first thing, automatic emergency braking speed increase. The maximum speed in which automatic emergency braking is available has increased from 50 miles per hour to 90 miles per hour. Automatic emergency braking is enabled by default. You can temporarily disable it by tapping the control icon in the bottom left corner of the touchscreen and then tap autopilot, settings, automatic emergency braking, off setting. The feature is re-enabled on the next drive. Next one is unlocking with a phone key. And it says, for added security, we've updated how your Model 3 unlocks the doors and trunk. Now, when you're next to the vehicle with the connected phone key, the doors unlock when you pull the handles and the trunk unlocks when you push the trunk switch. Next one is rearrange touchscreen icons. Thanks to customer feedback, we've rearranged the touchscreen icons so what you use most often is even easier to reach. The media player and phone icons are now located on the left side of the touchscreen. And I did notice that as soon as I got in the car, you can see that these two functions now, the media player and the phone are now to the left and the defrosters for the front and rear windshield are now on the right. So those have flip-flopped. Moving on, uh, previous release notes, which actually I did not get this one here, which is keep passengers warm with heated back seats. That's new for me. So when the weather is cold, treat your backseat passengers to the luxury of warm seats. Tap the fan icon to access climate control, then tap seats tab. Then choose the seat you want heated and adjust the heat to your passengers liking. So let's take a look at some of these. I'm gonna change the view here a little bit. So hopefully you guys can see a little better. So now let's take a look. Uh, first, let's go to the seat. And yep, there we go. That's them right there. So in the seat, I can now turn them all on from here and adjust the setting. So that's nice. And then I still have access to the front by just tapping the screen here. I wonder if there is a heated steering wheel in here. I'm very interested to see if that ever turns on. What do you guys think? You think we'll get a heated steering wheel in this version? Let me know in the comments below. All right, moving on. I want to go to locks. And when we go to locks, it now shows unlock on park and walk away lock. So it used to show, and if you go back to my previous video of me going through the screen, you would see unlock on park would be there. And then there was a walk away lock and walk up unlock. And that feature has gone away now for the added security. There is another video I will be doing about the keys to the car, both the cell phone and the credit card RFID chip. So keep your eyes open for that one. But for the time being, it looks like for added security, they're making it so you have to open the car by touching the handles of the car door or the trunk. So that should be interesting to test out. At least I know when I walk by my car now, it's not going to keep opening and closing the uh, side mirrors there. So that's good. And let's see if the Easter egg here has changed at all. Let's hold this down for 10 seconds. And nope, that is still the same. All right. Well, that was a neat over-the-air update. Oh, that looks a little different. That looks a little bit like a wider screen. 
So that seems to be new. Uh, go back to my last video where I turned that on. Uh, you'll see that the backup camera looks a little different. So I'm going to play around with this a little bit. I will check out autopilot also to see if any changes uh, were made there. But so far, pretty good. Uh, like the over-the-air update and comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you are interested in seeing more videos about the Tesla Model 3. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you soon.